Hello everybody and welcome back to Higher Learning Test Prep's online video tutorial series. Today we're going to look at another hard ACT math problem, number 58. Now it says, let theta be the radian angle measure that satisfies sine squared theta minus sine theta equals negative one-fourth for theta is greater than zero but less than pi over two, what is cosine theta. If this all freaks you out and you don't feel like you can solve this with some trig identities, then listen up. We have a new way of doing this for you. We're going to call sine x and sine squared x squared. So we're going to change these two so that our equation that we're interested in for the time being is x squared minus x, where x just equals sine theta. That's allowed. You can do that. We're just substituting in here. So this equation, x squared minus x equals negative one-fourth. Let's just solve that. Okay, well we know the easiest way to solve a quadratic is let's set the whole thing equal to zero and do some factoring. So this equation is going to become x squared minus x plus one-fourth equals zero. We did that just by moving this one-fourth over to the other side, adding it to both sides. Now, we can factor this, x, and we're going to have, let's see, negative in the middle, positive at the end, that means we're going to have two negative numbers. Let's do negative one-half in each case. One-half times one-half, the negatives will cancel out, we'll get positive one-fourth. Negative one-half x and negative one-half x gives us the negative x. So this is true, that we can factor the equation this way. Now, we know that there's only one solution for x here. It's when x is equal to one-half. In that case, we will get the whole thing to equal zero. So x equals one-half. Now remember, x is our sine. So that means sine theta equals one-half. Let's think about what that means in terms of right triangles. If you have sine theta, or here's angle theta, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite is 1 when hypotenuse is 2. Sine, once again, write that down. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the ratio of the, the sides is 1 to 2. Now, this has to look familiar to us in order to get this question right. When we have a ratio of sides where on a right triangle we have a side length of 1 and a hypotenuse of 2, the other side is going to be root 3. If that sounds crazy to you, then we'll have to do a little bit more work here. But essentially, these are... 30 and 60 degree angles so that we get uh, this ratio of sides that should be familiar to you. If not, we'll do a little bit of studying to make sure that you feel comfortable with this for next time. However, we have a 30, 60, 90 here. They're asking for the cosine of theta. Remember, this is still theta right here. We have labeled this 30. The cosine is adjacent. Let's write that. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, Adjacent is going to be root 3, hypotenuse 2, adjacent over hypotenuse, answer choice J, root 3 over 2. If you were totally guessing here, let's also remind you that we have two answers with 2 in the denominator, two answers with 4 in the denominator. So I would cross off F and guess one of these four. Furthermore, we have two answers with radical signs in it. In this case, you could say that, okay, it should be one of them with a root 2 or root 4 and one of them with a radical sign. So you can guess one of these two answers right off the bat. Perhaps that helps. Okay, folks, hard ACT math, but remember, you don't have to necessarily know a trig identity to solve this. This was essentially doing algebra and replacing sign with just an X. Hope that helps. Get in touch if you have any other questions, ACT or SAT related. We'll be happy to help. Even AP stuff we'll be happy to help with. Get in touch on Facebook, Twitter, email, higherlearningtestprep.com. Have a great day, and we wish you the best of luck. Take care.